Hey guys, Malibu Darby here. Welcome to my channel. If this is not your first time watching, welcome back. Today I am doing a very requested video. I am going to be doing a full face tutorial. I want to start off by saying I am not a makeup artist. What I say is not the end all be all. These things may or may not work for you. And this isn't even the routine I do all the time. Literally my routine can change based on like the weather, how I feel that day, how long I have. But typically if I say I'm going to do my makeup, this is kind of the routine that I go through. Um, so I'm going to try to include everything. All the products that I use, and it's going to be a lot, will be in the description box below. So before I jump into the video, if you are not subscribed, I'm going to go ahead and give you a minute to get subscribed. Hit the subscription button right below. That way you'll be able to get updates when I upload new videos, whenever I have new content, and you'll always be in the know on what's going on on my channel. And... I think already. So here we go, my full face tutorial. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to jump right into it. I don't know why I let on camera makeup like stress me out, but we gonna pull it together, and I'm gonna show you what I do. Okay. So yes, my eyebrows are already done. Eyebrows are like a whole nother 20 minute video on their own. If you would like a eyebrow routine video, just let me know, and I will get that together. But my eyebrows are done, so the next step that I would naturally do is eyeshadow. I'm gonna be honest, like, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to eyeshadow. I kinda just do the same thing and maybe just switch up different colors, but I don't have a ton of, like, experience with eyeshadow. I have hooded eyelids, so it's always kinda tricky to me. I basically just, I basically just kinda go with the same pattern, so I just kinda blow through eyeshadow because, like, I don't have a ton to teach y'all about eyeshadow. I just have some basics. So, I'm gonna do a look with one palette just to make things easier. So this is gonna be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. You either hated it or you loved it. A lot of like weird reviews on it, but I like the colors, so I'm gonna be using that. So going in with my transition color, I'm just gonna go in with Mercury. So like basically my knowledge of eyeshadow is that you need a transition color. You need something dark on the corner, something lighter in the middle, blend it. That's basically literally all I go by. So I'm just gonna go in with Mercury with a big fluffy brush and just kind of take that all over my lid. When I do my eyeshadow, it can end up really cute. It can end up crazy. Sometimes I surprise myself and like do a cut crease, but there's really no rhyme or reason. I need to practice with it more. A lot of times I don't do a big eyeshadow look because I'm gonna pop on a big dramatic lash. So I just don't focus on my eyes. But let me just go ahead and blow through this really quick. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so something that I do do for eyeshadow is I put tape here just so I can always have that shape. So no matter what's happening, I know it'll at least be like a confined shape. So I'm gonna pop on some tape really quickly just so I can have it like a controlled space. Okay, so I have my tape on. So I don't know how to really do a wing liner. Sometimes I like play with it and try to do it. But for the most part, doing the tape can give me the wing shape without having to do the wing liner, if that makes sense. So now that I've just put a basic color all over my whole lid, I usually go in with a kind of pointed crease brush with something relatively dark. So in this kit, I'm going in with fudge, this dark brown color. I'm gonna put that right in the corner and just really concentrate that on the outer corner and kind of bring it up through the outer lid. Okay, using that same brush, I'm gonna go in with Axis, which is this really deep green. I love this color, so I'm gonna go in with that and do the exact same thing right over that brown and just kind of build that color up. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the brush that they actually give you. I'm gonna go in with the fluffy dome shape size, almost like a larger version of the brush that I just used. And I'm gonna go into, this is where I just pick one. I'm gonna go with Untamed and Destiny, which are the other two green shades in this palette here and here. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna go in with Untamed and Destiny. I'm gonna bring that in from the outside corner into the center of the eyelid a little bit more. Okay, I wanna do a little bit more depth, so I'm gonna take this same brush that I had before. This is like a MAC brush. I can try to find the exact name. Um, and I'm gonna go in with Rowdy, which is this deep dark purple in this bottom corner. I'm gonna just put that like right in the outer corner, like really concentrated just to make that a little bit deeper in color. And I like using the tape because you don't have to worry about like going outside of the lines. I can purposely get right on the tape 
and know that it's gonna be a super sharp line when I lift that tape up. And it catches all the fallout. Okay, so using that brush that came in the palette, I am going to go with the kind of flat, fluffy end. I'm gonna go into New Wave, which is this orange shade here. I'm gonna go into New Wave, and I'm gonna bring that right into the corner of the eye. So from the corner to the crease. I didn't clean my brush before I did this, so I'm picking up some old colors, but we can work it out. So I use that New Wave Orange as a base, which is this color here. I'm gonna go in with Electric, which is kind of this green, orange color. It gets real funky on the eye, but it ends up being really pretty. So I'm gonna go in with that same brush, and I'm gonna go directly over that orange. Usually I would prefer to use a different brush for those two, but I'm washing my brushes right now, so we're gonna make it work. And just put that right in the corner of the eye. Okay, now using the same brush, I'm just gonna kinda blend that harsh line out between the two. I feel like that's enough. I got color in my eye, you can see it. It's not too crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a lash on. I'm not gonna make y'all suffer through the struggle of me putting a lash on. I usually just pop it on and pray that it can stay on. So let me go pop my lashes on and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back after my left lash didn't want to go out. My right lash is still drying, but we did it. The lash that I am wearing is Dodo Lashes D313, my absolute favorite lash. I will put a link to it in the description box below. And of course, I have a discount code. So when you use Malibu Darby at checkout, you save money. I usually buy in bulk, so definitely check that out. It's like $5 for mink lashes. The most expensive lash is $12. And I've worn these a thousand times and continue to wear them. So now, oh, and the glue that I like to use is the duo glue it is the green like paint on the blue just takes forever to dry to me and hair glues for your hair so that's my preferred glue now for the fun part complexion so i'm going to start by priming with the nyx angel veil primer this is a drugstore product it is an awesome price um, it mattifies helps with pores i am oily and i have large pores so i look for all of that i've tried some other high-end primers um, this does a job for me and typically it's my go-to. Okay, so next I go in with my LA Pro Girl Orange Color Corrector. If you have any questions on what this is or what I'm about to do, I have a previous video from a couple weeks ago that I did on color correcting. Check that out and it'll kind of give you an idea of why I color correct and what the purpose is. So taking that and any dark spots I have. You can blend this out with a beauty blender, your fingers. I just use this kind of dense, generic Sephora um, brush and just kind of blend it. Okay, so now that I'm color corrected, I'm going to go with my Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder in the color D. I set my entire face before I do my foundation. I do that because it allows me to use less foundation, it helps with coverage, and also just helps with oiliness and my foundation moving at all throughout the day. So I just lightly take my damp beauty blender and just set that around my face. This is particularly good if you use a lighter coverage foundation because it can kind of reinforce the coverage. I'm a full coverage gal, so I may not need to do this all the time. I just like, I feel like I'm a little more secure and like nothing's going anywhere. So I prefer to do this with no matter what the foundation. Okay, face is powdered. So now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I am mixing two foundations. I'm gonna be mixing the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC50 and the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation in 78 Neutral. Sometimes I do it on like a little palette. Um, sometimes I have like a little mix that I do. Sometimes I mix it on my face. Today I'm just gonna go on the back of my hand. I do a pump of the Kat Von D. That may have been a little bit much. I'm, I feel like I'm getting even lighter, but I normally do like a half pump or a pump of the Kat Von D. And then I go in with the Studio Fix Fluid right on top of that. You can use a brush to do this depending on how you feel. I always wash my hands before application. Um, so I just go in right with my finger and I just kind of dot that around my face. I hate the waste products, so I literally wipe it off my hand if I have to. So then I'm just gonna go on with a dense brush. You can use a beauty blender if you like. I just like a dense brush because I feel like it really gets everything moved around really well. And I'm just gonna go in and blend and buff that out. 
I don't take it under my eyes because I like to be as gentle as possible with my under eye area and I'm gonna go in with concealer and completely conceal that color corrector anyway. So if I don't have to use extra products, I try not to. Lift that scarf up. I do put foundation on my lips because I feel like when I do colors, especially like lighter or brighter colors, the uniformity of my lips helps the color pop. I can have some darkness around my lips, so I like to do the foundation just to help everything kind of be one color. So I think we're good with the foundation. Now to kind of seal, I always start my concealing with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. It's such a long name. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love this concealer. It is expensive, but I still keep using it, so. So I just go right under the eye with that. A little bit onto the bridge of the nose just because that helps when I have to contour. I keep it pretty tight under the eye. What's important to remember when you're highlighting is that anything you highlight brings light to it and you're bringing it forward. So if I don't want to make my face wider, I wouldn't need to highlight all the way back here. You may want to make your face wider, but I like to concentrate all the light in the middle of my face so I can bring that forward, not side and the forehead and everything like that. So same under the other eye. I do wish they'd make a different applicator for this concealer because I feel like I fight with it a lot. I don't do my whole nose when I contour, I just do right here and then I kind of drag the product down from there. And same for my forehead, I don't want to make it wider so I don't need to highlight all over here. A little bit in my cupid's bow. So I do go in with LA Pro Girl Toffee when I want my highlight to pop because it's a little bit lighter. And I only do that, I take that directly under the eye. Some people even go with Fawn. Fawn can be a little light for me sometimes, so I go with Toffee right under the eye. Once I'm done with that, you go back with that damp beauty blender and blend for your life. This can take as long as it needs to. Do not rush to blend. Blend. If you'll do nothing else, blend. Sometimes I like to take the back of my sponge. Remember, this is what we used earlier to set our whole face with the translucent deep powder. And I just like to go around the edges just to make sure there's no harsh lines or any weird foolishness happening. Then before I set that, I like to go with my black opal foundation stick in the color black walnut. And really lightly, just do a really small line here because you're gonna drag that forward. So I like to do like a little line, then go on with like my Real Techniques contouring brush. My battery's dying. I use what's left on this brush down my nose. I don't do a harsh nose contour or like anything serious. Again, I'm not trying to make my nose really narrow, so I don't have to, I'm not like worried about that. Then I will take my Sasha Buttercup powder, and I don't bake because it dries my under eyes, so I just press it into my skin. Okay, so once I press that in, I just wanna take a brush. This is a Real Techniques Multitask brush. I take that into my Black Radiance press powder in the shade Ebony, and really lightly just go into the hollows where I put that contour color, just to kind of deepen that up. Then I wanna go in with the same collection, but it's gonna be a blush brush. I go into my MAC, I believe it is Raisin Blush. I dab it into there, I dab a little bit into NARS Taj Mahal, which is like a blush highlighter combo. Dab that right on the apples of the cheeks. And then I finish with a combo of the two highlighters from Jackie Ina, Artist Couture, which I also have a video on those. So I just stack the bronze and the peach. Then I always finish with a drench of MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus and then Urban Decay All Nighter. Let that dry. Okay guys, so after all that, I just finished off. I go in with my Chestnut Lip Liner and my NYX Lingerie in the color After Hours. And I like to go over with the gloss. Usually I will do Spite um, by MAC. So I'm just gonna apply that and that will finish everything. Right, guys so that basically wraps it up that is my everyday kind of go-to makeup again I am NOT a makeup artist so none of this is law but this is what works for me and I've kind of found